Hi, welcome to Plus This. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your first action links. So action links are a way for you to create a button that will put on a page and then apply a tag when they click on it. So an example of that would be something like what I have here. We have a little offer uh, and then we have a video and people can watch it and that's all great. And then we want to give them a button to click and that's how we'll know that they actually saw the order form or whatever the step was to actually purchase this offer here. So it's pretty helpful and gives us a lot of information and it lets us follow up with these people differently from people who were just browsing and didn't actually take the next step to go and see what it would take to actually purchase this offer. Uh, another example of this could be if you're doing resources and you have a number of ebooks or PDFs and you want to know, hey, which ones are popular with different people and follow up with people based on that too, which is neat. So. Anyway, before we dive in and we fill out these questions that Plusis has for you, I think it's helpful to show you the automation in an active campaign so you have some context of what people are kind of experiencing and then what Plusis is asking for in the context of the actual automation you're setting up for this. So right here I've created a quick little automation, it took about one minute just to set this up. And so we started off with a tag and then we send them the email to send them to our offer page. And then we apply the tag with plus this uh, when they click on that button so that we know if they saw the offer or not. And if they have that, they're gonna go ahead and get this tag which will then send follow up for people who saw our offer. So that's really all you need to know before we go ahead and start filling out the plus this tool itself and it'll make a lot more sense now. So uh, this first question is asking what URL do you want contacts to be sent to? That is referring to the URL for this button that we're going to set up here. So let's go ahead and make that our offer page with the like form or whatever it might be that they're filling out. So in this case, we'll say it's pluscom slash offer. And then what fallback URL would you like if contact details are not found? So let's say someone lands on this page and they go, oh, this is cool, let me go and just send it to a bunch of people um, that aren't necessarily part of this campaign that you intended it for. And now you have a bunch of strangers landing on your page, which could be really cool, right? But um, at the same time, you might have protected content or whatever it might be, where you only want people to click on this button to go to it if they're part of your campaign. So what we've done for that is we have a setting here. So even though people might be on this thing, if they're not coming from your campaign, we can still send them somewhere, but it doesn't have to be exactly the same page. You're welcome to keep it the same, but if you're like, let's do our standard offer, um, that's totally available for you to do as well. And then the last part here is our tag for when they uh, click on that button. So in our automation, we have that tag that we're looking for right here. So let's go ahead and use that as the tag, the saw offer tag. So I'll put that here. All right, and then we're just giving it a name, action links demo. We'll click save. And now we just have to set it up. So we're gonna use the website option. Let's create our button now. You already saw a good example. I'm gonna copy it because I like that one. <laughs> and then we are going to change the button text so it says something more like, I'm interested, sign me up. All right, and then plus this will give you the little snippet of code to put on your page. I'm going to go to my page builder now. You can use whatever is you're using for your own website. If it's WordPress, you can use landing pages like ClickFunnels or lead pages, um, whatever it is. And in ClickFunnels specifically for this example, they have a little HTML snippet that you can click on to add this kind of stuff to. So just look for something like this in your own page builder if you're using one. Uh, and then we're just going to open the code builder and I'm going to go ahead and just paste our code here. So that is our button. And that is all you have to do to set this up. So I'll just come back to the automation and the only other things that we wanna cover are the links that we use to send people to this. So let's go ahead and put the link to that content page. So it'll be like pluses.com. Um, so this is leading up to the offer. We want them to see this. So that's whatever this page is that you're using there. So we'll cop put that in here. We'll copy this as our link. And then we'll go into our automation. 
we'll go to that email where we're sending people to this. We'll edit it. And then here's where we're telling people to click to go to that page. And we'll paste that in there as well. All right, awesome. And that's helpful for us because this is how we know who it was that went to that page eventually. And then we can know if they actually clicked on the button on that page too. And then the final thing you'll want to do is whatever tag you picked in the plus this setup for being applied when they click on that button, you want to have it match your settings and your automation for tracking whether they clicked on it or if they didn't. And that is really all you have to do to set up an action link. So if you have any other questions or need any additional help, I recommend checking out our tool information portal over here on the right. There's a link to our knowledge base right here that you can use um, and other little helpful tips that will be relevant to this tool as well. If you need to reach us directly though, you can always email us at help at plusthis.com. Hope this is really helpful. If so, um, I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye.